Hey, hey everybody, this is Melina from ScrapbookingWithMe.com and Me Crafty Scrapper here on YouTube and Instagram. Today is another episode of M Scrap Busters and I am making folded tag books. Now, if you see this, you're thinking, okay, Melina, we already know how to make tags, but it's a folded tag book. And I will show you what I mean. I've just knotted my seam binding. Use whatever type of ribbon you would like at the top of yours. And then you just thread it through the hole that you have punched at the top. Just like you would a regular tag. But then you have all kinds of goodness on the inside. So you have a little booklet notepad of sorts on one side and a little pocket on the other side and you could make any kind of closure you would want for these you could even do a belly band that would be very cute and just put the ribbon on the front side of the fold don't go all the way through like i did and if you wanted to make a belly band on these very cute but i decided that I would set an eyelet just on the front flap and then thread my ribbon through and instead of doing like a library knot just do a regular square knot just one flap over and then just twist it to where that shows there in the front and you're good as far as your tag book being closed and it goes down into any pocket or secretarial pocket tuck whatever in your journal so i really like how this came together it's super simple uh, my decorating is super simple this was just some cardstock i had left over from another project and I did a little bit of stamping on the back, just kind of faintly do a little bit of stamping. And then I put a die cut on the front and you're good to go. So, of course, that is my kind of project when the um, decorating doesn't take long at all. I love that. So I'm using my Oxide Walnut Stain ink today for my inked edges. And these are some papers that came out of a 6x6 paper pad from wherever, whatever collection I had laying around and um, had some left over. And then on the inside of this one, I did the little secretarial pocket with this wood uh, paper cardstock. And so I can use that again because I just did the... Uh, uh, piece in half at a diagonal so let's go ahead and cut the little branding strip off of this one so you can make these any size you would like I mean any size you would like but I like the size of this and it's just six by six paper that I started with so I'm going to fold this over and then I'm going to run my bone folder down the edge and then make sure I'm lined up pretty good and I am and then uh, if you have a um, credit card or royalty card or whatever that you have clipped the side off of then you would go and make your little corners. I actually have the tag uh, angle punch from We Are, is it We Are Memory Keepers? Yeah. Crocodile Corner Chomper. And I'm doing the large angle. And I'm doing it on the folded side and uh, the open side. So find your top. And I like how the pattern goes that way. And then my wording in the background. Yes. Okay, so this is my top. So large, large. So I've got my tag shape made. You open it up. There you go. So tag shape is all made. And I'm going to get my walnut stain. I'm just going to 
go around the edges lightly. I don't want this to be too grungy. So just kind of giving it some dimension. So I'll go around all the sides. Then I will go down the spine here. And then I'm going to flip it over because this is not going to be something that I'm going to glue down permanently in a book which you could if you wanted to and just not glue up here and glue all around down here leaving that open so that when you open this front flap you could still take that ribbon out of the top but I mean that's an idea if you wanted to use this as an accent on a page and um, you would just, I would probably just cut off my gluing about right here and go down with it and just leave that kind of open up top. And you could use it as a permanent spot in your journal. But I'm using mine as a um, floating piece. Okay, and then of course if you want to um, ink the inside which I will I didn't on that other one but it's a darker cardstock so I was okay this one since it's light little yellow polka dots I will go around the edges of it thank you for your suggestions on new M scrap busters I hope to get those incorporated in the weeks to come can always use more ideas because like I've said before paper crafting there's no idea in paper crafting that is totally original we draw inspiration from each other all the time but um, sometimes I watch so many YouTube videos that it just still doesn't come to me for whatever reason so I like getting inspiration and inspired by others and y'all suggestions too okay so that is our base of our tag now if you want to round your bottom corners go for it just make sure to do it while it's folded and then that way you get the same um you get evenness on both sides um don't uh punch your hole yet we are going to cut some papers to put in as our notepad. Let's do, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and get this little piece and I will tell you dimensions on that in just a minute. Let's get some papers over here that I already have dyed. And this is... Um, once you fold your six by six piece of cardstock, you have three inches, of course. So I want my pieces of paper that I put in there. I want them five and a half by two and a half. So I'm going to cut my length. Five and a half by two and a half. And then this is two sheets of ink dyed paper. And then two and a half. Let's see. That's two and three quarters. Let's do two and a half. And then take it over here. And make sure that your length looks good. And it does. I like that. Totally had the bottom out of frame. Sorry about that. Okay. And then few more as long as it's um, thin paper you should be good to do a full two sheets in here if you want to it won't make it too bulky or anything okay there and then let's get the other half of the other two sheets cut two and a half and a half and then the last one two and a half 
Okay. Let's stack all these up. And if you wanted to give that front one some dimension or um, if you wanted to stamp on it or if you wanted to use a stencil or something like that, let's do a little bit of stamping just on this front page. I'm going to get my little scrap piece that I ink on top of every once in a while. Let me get that over here and let's just stamp on the very top sheet so let me get that this is totally optional just dresses it up a little bit i've got the tim holtz ledger um is that what it's, all it's called ledger script and i'm just going to ink it up with some versafine ink and just off to the side a little bit here do that little bit of stamping and then I might save the rest of that ink that I put on the stamp for the outside of this or maybe on the inside do a little bit so see that just gives you a little bit of interest to your pages that you're about to staple in so you're just going to get them lined up this is just scrap paper so don't have to be too precise i'm okay if some of them are a little bit longer than others two it's not an issue for me okay and that looks pretty lined up to me if you um want to sew this in you can if you just want to staple it in like I'm going to do I will use my Tim Holtz tiny attacher and I'm going to line these up at the top here like so and get me a binder clip We'll have to come up just a little bit. The other one, my prototype, went right along with me and didn't give me any problems. Now this one, I'm having to line up a little bit better. Okay. There's my binder clip. I'm going to pull it down just a little bit. And then I'm going to get my tiny attacher and don't go down the middle just put a staple in one side and then a staple in the other side so there is our little notepad attached okay and then this piece it is it was three inches wide to begin with by four inches tall so three by four is what you need for this and then you just put it in your trimmer on the diagonal and cut it okay so let's do one more is this one three inches no let's do this one here so we're going for four inches tall and then three inches wide or just a touch under three inches wide since it is folded at the three inch mark okay and then we're going to put our cardstock on the diagonal and one corner is on the cutter and the other corner is on the cutter line Okay, and then just hold it down, cut, and that's how you get your little secretarial pocket. And then I'm going to line it up here. I might have to trim off that little corner. Yep, I'm just going to barely snip 
this little corner right there just to give me like a little straight edge there I'm going to ink the edges my computer is running its fan on high speed so that's the um, noise you hear in the background usually when I start videoing that's when it starts running its fan I guess it needs to so I'm not going to gripe too much so I've just inked my edges of my little triangle pocket and I'm going to put a little bead of glue down the edges that is it oh somebody asked um, in my last video what these tips are this is my um, sugar bell bottle and I've got uh, art glitter glue in it and then they ask about these tips these are actually knitting needle caps that's all it is and then I put a straight pin with a ball head down in it and then kind of secured it down in there that's all that is um, we actually carry the sugar bell caps in the shop here they are and they um, seal off really well this is my barely arts and it's all gone we're waiting on another shipment of barely arts but these are the actual sugar bell caps and we do carry those in the shop I just haven't switched this one out yet that light is very bright for whatever reason all right, so we've got our little bead of glue on this bottom side and then this straight edge side. And we're going to line it up here and making sure not to go over our flap here. Okay, and press that down good and then get all of your glue that has seeped out. Get that up so it doesn't stick to anything else. Okay, so there is our inside. Now, if we wanted to do stamping or uh, put a die cut here, we could if we wanted to. You go ahead and close it up. I'm going to use my binder clip and just hold it secure just until I get my tag hole punch here at the top. And I'm going to go down. A little bit more than I did on that other one. Got to get this little piece of paper out so I can see through. Okay, I'm going to go down just a little bit more than I would have on that other one, or I did on that other one, because I do want to put another eyelet on this front. Now, if you don't want to put an eyelet on the front, totally okay you don't have to um i just like that look i'm trying to get in the middle so i don't mess up something um but yeah you do not have to put an eyelet in the front at all um especially if you know you're not foreseeing that this is going to be something you're going to keep for a long time it's just made of scrap so no worries if you don't keep it. Now look, we put a hole through that paper so that gives us another um, security for that paper once it's closed and has ribbon through it. Now I'm going to get a, an eyelet. Let's see how that looks on that one. Either that one or this one. I think that one. I'm good. Doesn't take much to make me happy. Okay, laying it out flat. Our mail end of our setting tool is on the top. The other is just sitting on the platform base. Beautiful. I'm gonna clamp it one more time. We're good and set. And so that eyelet, of course, just went through the front flap, not both flaps. If you did that, you would set it 
and it would be all together and you couldn't get it open. <laughs> okay, and then let's find some ephemera to put in this front flap. Here's just a little tag and something maybe a little smaller. I love that little green one. That's pretty. Okay. There's that. And of course, like I said, you could dress it up on the inside as much as you would like. Now, um, let's get... Okay, I got out some lace that I will put down the edge here and a couple of die cuts from the Tim Holtz thrift shop and then I've got some mocha colored um, seam binding for the top now I need to figure out how I want to cut and I'm going to cut this lace at an angle to go along with my tag angle and use my fabric fix to put this along the edge just a little line of it and get my spatula put this down I love that lace. Somebody gave us that. And I'm going to be sad when it is gone because it is so pretty. Okay. And not cover up all of that spine on the edge there. Leave it showing just a little bit. I love how that looks. And then let's ink these two little die cuts here. and the little boy with the puppy cute we have the um, vintage photo strips from Tim Holtz new to us in the shop right now and they are so cute I gotta get me a pack of them before y'all buy them all out okay put that on and then figure out, yeah, I want to put it there, but I want to put that up some. And then this off to the side and straighten it up just a little bit. need to look at it myself up in front of my eyeballs. And then I think it needs just a little something, something to go there too once I get a little boy with dog <laughs> on there just to kind of uh, dress up that little corner and I think a Tracy box label of some kind maybe one of her teeny little oh yeah that will work let's do a Tracy box label in that little corner there so a tiny one um i like that little three plus i'm gonna have to cut into it pretty good to go get it though I need my tweezers for this tiny little darling. Put me just a little dot of glue on the back. Cute. Okay, so there's my front all decorated. There's the inside, my little stamped 
paper there. I think I will just use up the ink that I've still got on that stamp there on the back. That um, pattern is so busy you really can't see it, but I just used it up anyway. So then I'm going to get a piece of this mocha seam binding that I got from Paper Sweeties. Get that taken off. Miss Debbie over at Paper Sweeties. She has the cutest stuff. Little stamps and things over there. You need to go check her out. And she is like one of the sweetest ladies ever too. So I always love um well, I love to shop for crafty stuff anyways, but <laughs> I always love giving, when I do have to give up money, giving my money to, to nice people. <laughs> so that always is a little bit easier. All right, so for my ribbon, I am going to do the length plus a half. Okay, and let's see. Put that, yep, that's going to give me the length that I want, and maybe just a touch more. So, you could do a library knot, especially if you don't do uh, an eyelet on the front. Library knot was going to be very easy if you wanted to do that, but I really like the look of this just single knot that I put on here, and then you're going to twist your tails around look at there yep that gives me that great length that I'm always looking for I'm gonna trim off the fuzzies off of that one and just kind of cut them at the same time there we go cute I love these okay so on this one I only put in like I think five or six sheets in the little notepad part this one I put in uh, 10 or 12 so you know according to how much paper you put inside of these that's going to um, tell you how bulky it's going to be but I mean even with that many sheets in there it's still not that bulky and that's going to fit easily down into a journal pocket and your ribbon is holding it well no problems there so I really, really like these. And this was another thing that came to me um, one of my sleepless nights. I've been having lots and lots of trouble with an insomnia. And so I have been up at all hours of the early, early morning. And so that um, came to me on one of those uh, when I saw somebody had made, and that was a, it was a company, it wasn't... Um, anybody uh, uh, just an individual youtuber it was a company they had made uh, a fold uh, tag book kind of like this but had put a um, belly band on theirs and didn't have any kind of uh, trim or ribbon or anything at the top so it was a tag shape but then it just had a belly band on it so I thought there's got to be a way to make these something like that they didn't have the notebook uh, pages in it like I do but um, it's got to be a way to make a fold over tag book like that that actually looks like a tag at the top and it stays together so here we go I really like this project and I like that it only takes a six by six piece of cardstock so if you've got some 12 by 12 cardstock left over from a project cut down to six by six and you've got the perfect little tag book to add to your journals now like I said in the very beginning you can make these any size you would like um, if you made them a little bit taller and skinnier that would be cute to add into some tall pockets or if you're making a, a bigger journal very cute if you made little small ones you could actually make some of these Christmas themed and put them on your gifts 
and write little notes on the inside to whomever you give the present to and just let this be the gift tag that's on the outside that would be cute uh, you could make it a little bit wider and get a um, gift card in that little secretarial pocket let's look and see if we can get our now if you don't have nails you're going to be able to get your ribbon off a whole lot easier than I can just saying but if you had a little gift card let's see will that fit that look at that little gift card holder too and you know you could just put a couple of pages in here and write a little note to the recipient that would be cute love it I love these little things I think I might make another one off camera and then I'll show you still shots at the end and here is the one that I just made off camera so blue polka dot with some um, just coffee dyed paper that I cut in strips and I zigzag stitched it and then a piece of Tim Holtz scrap and then a die cut from my scrap pile and a little glittery five that I thought I would never use but I thought went really well because that's got some gold in it and then the brown offsets that and then you know those little bright gold brads or not brads eyelets that I said that I would hardly ever use because I'm just not a bright gold person my lighting's doing some weird stuff with it I actually use that one on this one and I have some um, dusty rose kind of strawberry seam binding that goes along with that that's in there all that shimmer's doing some weird stuff to my light sorry and then I will show you the inside and then I'll have some still shots for you at the end. And if I could get my nails to work right today, that would be wonderful. Look at that. Look, they don't want to work. It's one knot, Melina. Come on. It's not that hard. Okay, and then you open it up. I actually put a little um, decoration on that little die cut scissors and some ephemera down in there look at that how that my lighting is I'm going to turn off this one there we go there that gives you a little bit better of a light there it's a little dark but that gold foil stuff was really messing with the lighting okay and then this is some tea stained papers that I did not long ago and it's got I had laid some lace trim on top of it so that's why we have that little accent but that is the one that I just finished off camera I wanted to show you the inside of it before I finished up and um, done my still shots at the end now I will get my nails to work all over again putting this trim through and getting it tied yay ta-da <laughs> thank y'all so much for sticking around and watching this newest or the newest M Scrap Busters video. I really enjoy making these every week and y'all make it so fun with your nice little comments about um, how I'm bringing up things that you would never would have thought of. That makes me so happy that I can, you know, give you a n newer idea or a twist on an old idea. And um, I love going and watching all of your M scrap busters also now I am behind on that I will get caught up and I am behind on leaving comments uh, replies to all of your comments I apologize but I will get to it I promise November and December are just cram packed full of church obligations family obligations all kinds of stuff we have a couple of days of travel that we've got to get in too so forgive me but I will get caught up and uh, 2022 <laughs> is a whole new year. <laughs> we'll, we'll get caught up and we'll um, start making lots more videos each week too because I know I'm only doing like two or three a week right now. But it'll get easier. Holidays are always a little hectic and then we recharge and January comes around and 
we'll get back at it. Y'all have a great day. I hope to see you in the next video. God bless. Bye, y'all.